Alright guys, this could be it. Um, I was able to um, read, this is uh, passage number 12 out of here um, by taking the uh, awesome duck potion one more time. So it reads, this feels rather odd. My consciousness is doing fascinating things, or rather my perception, yes. That's the better word for it. Just the other moment, I s thought I saw the meaning of life in a peanut butter sandwich. The duck can actually sing. Who knew? Hmm. Hey, I just wrote, hmm. Why would I do that? On paper, I mean. Odd. Hmm. There I go again. But I wanted to write something down. Yes. So that I won't forget. The cipher for my journal. Marzipan. That's it. Marzipan. Maybe we have some in the fridge. Actually, I know we do. Yum. Hey, I wrote yum. With one more M, though. Hmm. So, uh, that's what Umba reads. So, uh, now that we have our marzipan code, we can go back down. I don't know why I just did that. I keep doing that though. Getting turned around. Not here. Here. Oomba. Oh, I also was mixing more potions for funsies and I dyed part of my menu pink. It says it's temporary, but it hasn't gone away yet, so... I don't know. <laughs> I got some more ice, too, for funsies. Um, decrypted printout. Examine. Encrypted journal. A system. Okay. More work on the synthesizer today. It still produces things that are peanut butter flavored, but at least they're not actually made of peanut butter. I'm getting a little tired of the stuff. The adjustments are going a little slower than I'd hoped. I've also come to realize that it's a little dangerous. Squiggles tried playing with it this morning and accidentally created a demon called Anklok Merkel, a dark servant of Erisan. It's, it escaped out a window, swearing to destroy the world. To keep this kind of thing from happening again, I've implemented a password check. The password is jelly. I shouldn't forget. Hence the flying jam. Uh, spent most of the morning playing cards with Spider Pig and Zathras. Spider Pig and I mostly lost. Zathras is just too good. Uh, invented an orange throwing device sometime around noon. Got a letter from my friend... Zumba, the potato head from Molag Mar. Apparently he's working on a new novel in collaboration with James Joyce. Should be interesting. I do uh, hope his somewhat lighter style prevails. Jim is a nice person, but his writing can be rather obscure. Occasionally to the point of silliness. Received another letter from Howard. This one with a, a new uh, draft of the essay we've been debating for two years now. His work at Miskatonic University is progressing well, it seems. He has moved beyond the unpleasant and ridiculous notions of his younger years toward a more sophisticated understanding of humanity. His writings on the regions of n nightmare, however, remain as excellent as before. Invented levitating watermelon jelly. Delicious, if slightly dangerous. I also managed to create an anti-gravity towel quite by accident. I have, I have to admit, I'm not sure how to use it, so I've put it in the bathroom for now. It might make an excellent toy for Squiggles if he wasn't so terrified of it. With the help of a new book from Pigana, I've managed to get the synthesizer working right. Now I can finally create duck food myself without having to import it from Papiatica. An excellent day. The other day I saw uh, images of Eridu, after its capture by Erisan. He claims to have brought freedom and order, but what I saw were crumbling buildings, bodies in the streets, starving children, children starving, rather, um, ancient monuments destroyed, the cradle of civilization burned in the name of power. I think of the history of that place, the thousands of years it has endured, of the people who lived there, of the knowledge and truth there discovered, and I cannot help but weep like a child. 
Adapa, forgive us for not stopping your ascent. We should have. We could have. Alright. So there was our printout. Um, all in the name of Jelly. For this thing. Alrighty. I'm gonna check this printout one more time. Jelly. All caps. Perhaps. There we go. Nice work, thank you. This will do nicely. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Ahem, I'm sorry. I can't quite explain why we talk like this. It's a custom amongst our people. Some theorize that the origin of our niceness lies with the city of Nice, where the founder of our species, French experimental philosopher and amateur milkman Pierre the Hare, Rapper Duke, was born. Anyway, here's the key I found. Enjoy it. The rubber duck gave you this tiny, unassuming key, the key to Bill's bedroom. You wonder where on its body a rubber duck might keep a key, though. It bounces a little. Yay! It smells of latex. Hmm. Can't possibly work. Eats it. I'm not even gonna try. It'd probably make me play the game again. Oh my god. <laughs> Get stuck in an endless loop of tomfoolery. This is not where I'm supposed to be. This door. This is it, guys. We're in. A pretty painting of Castle Morello, famed for its sour cherries. An orange scented orange footstool. A pair of comfy looking shoes. A nice orange armchair. It smells of cat hair. The Auto Sheep 2000. Automated sleep counter for helping you sleep. A reading lamp. I'm trying to clear my mind. I have difficulty thinking clearly. I haven't slept well for several nights. I can feel them approach. Can fear his army drawing closer. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to deal with this. There's no way of stopping them. They are too many and too powerful. How do you stop such an omer- such an overwhelming hatred. How do you oppose such power? They will make slaves of the world, bind us to their system, and grind our souls in the great machine. I can see no way of avoiding it. In Arizona's world, there is no peace for beauty, for imagination, for freedom. Everything is made to fit the parameters, to conform to the rules of the few, one law for the lion and the ox. I cannot live in that world. Above all, I cannot see all that I uh, love be destroyed or enslaved by that system. I cannot see my creations turned into machines or curiosities, into devices of profit and abuse, and yet I cannot protect them. I have created them, but I cannot keep them from this doom. I have failed them. In the end, no matter how much I love them, and I love them so much it makes my heart ache, it was a mistake to bring them to life. They will sell Harold to s at some auction, turn him into an object. He will be valuable to them but not beautiful, not alive. Stripes and Portacopolis, Zathras, they will put into a zoo. They have wiped out almost all others of their kinds. Now they are oddities worth preserving. Sinclair, Squiggles, and the mushrooms are nothing but pests. They will be killed, exterminated. The Horaf, they will put to work. Not on something it loves, but on something important, something where it can be efficient, it will become part of the great machine. The hamsters and the spider pig will be declared monstros monstrosities. They will either um, become a spectacle or be destroyed to save the world from their evil. Butlerware will be replaced by something more efficient, and the flower will simply be forgotten. No one will speak to it until it forgets how to speak. Everything I love will be destroyed, and I can do nothing. I do not have the strength anymore, and I have fought many battles in my life, but I don't have the strength to fight this one. 
I know, knowing I will lose it. And I cannot stay here and watch it happen. The only thing that remains is the coward's way. I will flee. I will turn my back from this destruction and leave for Oniarpolis. I know that that's where they're going, but by the time the city falls, it will all be over. I will die with the city, but at least I won't have to face what happens here. I am too old. I can't find the strength anymore. I don't have it in me to tell them. At least they will have a few days of peace and their beautiful and careless life here. A little happiness before the end is better than days of worrying, of trying to stop the inevitable. If there are gods, let them forgive me. Controls for the Auto Sheep 2000 device. Bill's bed, it looks very comfortable. A view of Castle Morello, famed for its opposition to Urizen. Carpet feels kind of odd, it seems to be made of water and algae. Alone tie, made of something squiggly. Bill probably hadn't worn this since he was a little boy. A sock, it looks like Bill wasn't very careful packing his bags. Discarded underwear, it smells faintly of apples. We did smell it. A forgotten shirt. A lamp, it seems firmly attached to its ceiling. To the ceiling. Drawers are all empty. It appears Bill left in a hurry. Not where I wanted to go. I wanted to come back out here and tell Harold. Our worst fears have come true then. Arison's army is on the march towards us. And old Bill has fled. Oh, poor old Bill. He must, must have been so sad and lonely. And it's so silly, really. We are all sen sentient beings and are all capable of dealing with truth. He could have told us. He should have told us instead of being so afraid. We may be his children, but that does not mean we are helpless. Thank you very much for your help, stranger. I am very glad that Jonas made this portal. We could not have discovered all this without your help. We have done your part, or you have done your part. Now it is our turn to act. Old man Bill is about to find out that there is more to his children than he knows. For a long time he protected and nourished us. He only lost hope when he was convinced that he, no lo he could no longer do so. Now it's time for us to protect and nourish him. He has not failed us, though he will think so. Love is not so easily lost. No matter what mad delusions Urzan has put in his mind, Bill is not alone, and dreams are not so fragile. Somewhere far away in beautiful Onopolis, city of dreams, Bill will meet his children once again, and then perhaps he will begin to understand. As for the bridge, well, it has seen wars before. Urzan's army are unlikely to notice it, much less damage it, so it doesn't worry too too much, and perhaps despite all it's seen, it still hopes that one day the river will return. Oh, it just closed it. I had uh, opened up in paint um, number 12 in case it changed back immediately. Um, but yeah, the game did just abruptly close, and that's it. So I hope that uh, you uh, thoroughly enjoyed um, the strange and somewhat uh, sinister tale of uh, the House of Desert Bridge. Yeah.